one left. These are my cookies from the All Nighter video. You guys seem to like really like my last Get Ready With Me, so I decided to give you guys another one. Another one. I've been just like scrolling through TikTok and seeing this trend that's been going on where you basically grab your mirror, you take it outside, and you take pictures. And I was like, that's a freaking genius idea. I'm gonna just do a Get Ready With Me of me preparing to go outside and take the pictures. But before we get into the video, I do want to give Lens.me a huge shout out for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what Lens.me is, this is the box that the lens came in. Um, Lens.me is basically a contact company that basically sells a bunch of different types of contacts, but their number one seller is the Solitica contact, which is the ones I got. Lens.me ships worldwide via FedEx. Use my code NATALIE in all caps, you will get 10% off. I will also be hosting a giveaway with Lens.me, so if you don't don't follow my Instagram, you definitely should because the Lens on Me giveaway will be held through Instagram. I'll be giving the details on how we can do that through Instagram. So go follow me on Instagram. That's the only way you can win. Just a little fun fact about Lens.me. Kylie Jenner actually wears the Solitica contacts, which is the ones that I'm wearing. And I actually have the exact ones that Kylie Jenner really likes to use. Just a little FYI for you guys. These are the first pair of contact lenses. These are jade. So they're like a little bit green. I don't think... Hold on. These are like on the greenish side. So you can see, they look so natural. So if you're looking for more of like a green toned color contact, then these would be the way to go. Here's like the up close view of them. I think I wanna wear these for the pictures. I feel like I'd look good with green eyes, right? I kinda look like Edith right now. I think these might actually be my favorite. All right, next pair. All right, so these are quartzo, and these are more of like a bluish tone. If you're looking into getting contacts that make your eyes look blue, these would be the ones I would go with. So this is how they look far away. They also look super, super natural. And then up close, this is how they look. Really cute as well. Next, contacts. All right, so these are the next pair of contacts. They look a little bit similar to Quartzo, which is the last ones I used, but these are crystal. So I think these are like a little bit more grayish. They're really, really similar to Quartzo, but instead of being more blue, I feel like these are a little bit more grayish. Maybe on camera you guys cannot tell, but these are really nice as well. They're still kind of bluish, but they're more gray literally these contacts are so natural what the heck they also have like a little bit of brownish if you guys can tell i don't know if you can tell or not all right so now moving on to the last pair of contacts okay these are my last pair of contacts these are the contacts that kylie jenner uses these are brown which is not really my cup of tea just because i already have like brownish eyes so putting on like brown contacts on top of brown eyes is just like but if you want to achieve a really light brown look this would be the move they are really pretty the name of these contacts is hydro Chlormel, I think. I'll have all the links down below so you guys can go check all of these out. So, again, a huge thank you to Lens.me for sending me all these beautiful contacts. They also brought their own case, by the way. I'll leave the link down below for Lens.me. Make sure to go check them out. Make sure to follow my Instagram so you guys can enter the giveaway and get your own lenses. All right, so I put on the contacts that I'm gonna wear and let's get started with this get ready with me. I'm so hot. I have one more cookie left. I didn't see I already did my brows. So I'm just going to go through and do the rest of my makeup. And I am going to be answering some of your guys' questions. But for the most part, this girl with me is going to be more like explaining a little bit of my YouTube journey. Just because I know a lot of people have questions on that. I always get asked about that. And I feel like I've never actually made a video like sit down talk about talking about that. So that's what we're going to do. So back in 2006. 17 i believe i just got it out of eighth grade i was going into high school it was the summer between eighth grade and ninth grade yes i'm in high school surprise you guys be so damn surprised that i'm about to be a senior i don't even do i really look like a kid i probably do my little sister had been bugging for a while now that she thought starting a youtube channel would be cool it was a non-stop bug from her right i have been wanting to start a youtube channel for so long there was people in my elementary school who had told like oh yeah i'm gonna start a youtube channel like i was so sure i was gonna start a youtube channel all right sometimes things don't work out the way you want them and a youtube channel is a lot of work we don't have someone to guide you through things so like for us there's no one in our family who had a youtube channel none of our friends had a youtube channel like no one had a youtube channel so it was like it's really hard to start a youtube channel when no one around you has a youtube channel because you don't know like and you just don't know like it's just that simple you don't know anything so back when i was like in elementary school and i wanted to start a youtube channel obviously and then there's all these judgmental people and it was just a lot so i decided to just make makeup tutorials in my room and never post them like, i remember i would make youtube videos and just never post them like i would just make them and just keep them there 
like everyone at some point wanted to have a YouTube channel. So I never made a YouTube channel back then, but now that our sister was kind of like pressuring us and you know, like telling us, it kind of reminded us of that excitement that we had to start a YouTube channel. And we just kind of started thinking about it, but it was like, damn, like going into high school, imagine being that one girl who does YouTube videos. And like, I was gonna be a freaking freshman, like, ah. Uh, it was just hard. Somehow we ended up deciding that we were gonna start a YouTube channel and we were gonna do it and it was gonna be great and we were so motivated and we're like we're gonna do this we're gonna make it work we ended up talking to my mom about it like i think like two days after like this whole after me and my sister had decided that we wanted to start a youtube channel for those of you who don't know i had a, you had i had a youtube channel with my sister before this channel it did really good but i ended up deciding to leave that channel for lots of reasons that's where my youtube career started back then my mom had just gotten the iphone 7 which was like i believe it was like the newest model of phone back then i had the 6 and i don't i think my sister had like the 6 as well so we would use my mom's phone to film because my mom's phone had the best quality and we didn't have a camera back then you guys remember when the iphone 6 had like 16 gigabytes of storage yeah i had the freaking 16 gigabytes of storage ain't no space for nothing else than your freaking two selfies we would use my mom's phone to record for the quality and we'd use my mom's phone to edit because her phone had the most space because her phone had 32 gigabytes and we were like damn like that's so many gigabytes you guys remember that i always say this and i will always say this i have what i have on youtube because of my mom and my sister has what she has on YouTube because of my mom. I'm not gonna get too much into detail, but there is so much stuff that happens behind the scenes. And my mom is literally our ride or die. Like she supports us in every single way possible. I am so serious. When me and my sister ended up realizing that, shit, this whole filming on your phone and editing, it's just not gonna work because iMovie would take like days to export for some weird ass reason on my mom's phone Maybe that's because our videos were long It would take us such a long time to the point where it was like it, it, it wasn't gonna happen because it wouldn't work Like my mom had to use her phone like she wouldn't she would go to work stuff like that So it was just it wasn't gonna happen So we ended up sitting my mom talking to my mom and telling her basically like we needed a laptop and back then we had a laptop but it was like an hp one it was an iMovie like i think we could have bought like premiere at the time premiere pro but like it's first of all it's really expensive and like we were not freaking wealthy and it was just so we ended up telling mom we needed a laptop and of course my mom was like if you guys are sure you want to do youtube like i will help you guys and we're gonna buy a macbook so my mom really helped us throughout and she ended up helping us convince my dad my mom has always made us have like life savings not like life savings but she's always made us like save so me and all my sisters and my brother had savings so what she ended up doing was she took a hundred dollars out of our savings and my mom ended up putting like i i don't know how much my mom ended up putting it was like a lot more than a hundred though and then my dad ended up putting like a lot more than a hundred too so that was like the way we were able to buy a macbook and from there we just kind of started editing posting editing posting edith ended up getting a new phone shortly after and basically we ended up giving my mom's phone back and we would use my sister's phone to film and i would edit on the macbook we ended up doing this whole little system for i think a little bit over a year because i ended up buying a camera on my birthday which is the big camera and then we started getting good quality on our videos and we started blowing up and then my 15 came along and we were low-key popping on youtube after my 15 where i decided to branch off of that channel because it was the best thing for me there was a lot of reasons for that but i'm not gonna get into that when i made this channel i didn't automatically start posting on here i would post on here and on the other channel there was a point in my time where i was like posting a lot on this channel it was going good but then I decided to focus more on the other channel and then I let this channel die. I think I had about 10k subscribers at the time. We were posting on the other channel. It was great. More stuff began to happen and I just kind of started putting more time into this channel because I, I started thinking, I realized that I wanted to make this channel my priority. But by that time, my channel had low-key already died. So when I posted videos, I would literally get under a thousand views and it was the most unmotivating thing ever. I don't think people realize how hard it is to come from the bottom like it's hard i would post videos on this channel but i would literally get like 600 like 500 views and i saw that my videos weren't doing too good i low-key got really unmotivated and then i just kind of like i was thinking about like quitting and just not posting on this channel anymore but i decided to just keep pushing through it and i kept posting videos like i was i got really consistent and i started posting like lots and lots of videos bro my teachers better stop texting me i know i haven't done my homework but i kept posting and then i don't remember what exact video it was but one of my videos ended up getting 
like a really good amount of views but by good amount of views i mean like back then from getting like 600 views i think that video got probably oh i just remembered it was the getting my license video that video ended up getting like a little bit over like 2000 views or something like that and that just like gave me like the spark of like day like i could really bring this channel back to life all of december i started doing this thing where i posted every other day because it was like christmas and stuff like that i didn't want to do vlogmas because vlogmas is really hard when you're in school and then i started getting subscribers so i went from like 10,000 to 20,000 in like two months i think which was like a lot and then january came along and then i really started posting a lot more um, my subscribers kept going up and then i posted the waking up at 5 a.m video by the way i started going like hard at my channel probably in october or november November. So the waking up at 5 a.m. video had to have been before Valentine's Day because I posted a Valentine's Day video after that sometime in February but before Valentine's Day so it was like the very first and all my videos at this point were probably getting like from anywhere from 4,000 to 10 to 15,000 views but this video went up and then I started getting notification after notification and then my channel started growing and then that's when I looked started to blow up I just realized there's absolutely no point of me telling you guys this story Who's still here? Who's still watching? Now here I am with 120. Dude, this powder keeps falling out. I swear. It thinks it's cheap or something because it's not. So that's basically what happened. And then now here I am today. Crazy, right? I decided to tell you guys this story in this video because I get a lot of like questions of like how to grow your YouTube channel, how to stay motivated to keep your channel going. If you're not dedicated to your channel, it's just not gonna work. Me trying to balance out two channels, it was so hard. And I wasn't dedicated on like I was either dedicated on that one or I was dedicated on this one and the moment I decided to be dedicated on this one, my channel went. I say it in every video and I'll say it again. The one way to make your channel grow is to keep posting and just completely like, I feel like in my other videos I was kind of holding back my real personality and then when I decided to actually like release my personality, I started like blowing up. Just be who you are and keep posting. On that note, what are you guys giving your mom for Mother's Day? Because I'm a little lost. It's so hard with my mom because you guys want to know what she asks for Mother's Day? A freaking like couch or a table or something. Let me know in the comments what you guys are getting your mom because I need ideas. Just the thought of having to buy this powder again hurts my bank account. Shout out to everyone who said they would buy my merch. You guys are the real ones. Also, whenever I say comment something down in the comments below, and you guys actually do it, I read all of them. So thank you so much for participating and not make me look dumb. My nose do be kind of big though. Are you guys actually doing your assignments though? Like for school? Like I just want to know if people are actually doing their assignments. Or are the zeros piling up? <laughs> the amount of discipline you need to have to do homework when you're not at school is like next level, dude. I'm so serious. I for real need a new blush. Look at this. It is so cracked. It literally has a crack from the outside and all this on the inside is just... I'm gonna be so sad if these pictures don't come out cute though. I wanna get a Kylie Jenner blush. Are they good? A lot of you guys were telling me you wanted to marry a firefighter too and I was like, that's right. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my last video. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take this off. Um, I think I'm done with my makeup. Oh wait, I need mascara. What am I... I completely forgot about mascara. Maybe because my lashes are gonna come out bad like every other time. My lashes, mm, that one didn't come out too bad. All right, here are my lashes. Do you guys hate them? All right, I kind of like my makeup today, not gonna lie. I think it's kind of cute. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me kind of giving you guys a little story time. I know people were asking me for like story times on my lives and stuff like that. So this was kind of like a little story time. I'm gonna go take my pictures outside. If you want to know how the pictures turned out, go follow me on Instagram. If you want to look away for the lenses, go follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!